or the passenger in the front. That is delivery. Oh, right, cheers. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. That is the most awkward thing I've ever seen. Um, yes guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to another car video on the channel. Now today we are doing a car accessory video. So my first sort of accessories I'm adding into the car, uh, little bits and bobs. I'm going to go through them all and some pre-existing ones that are already on the car. Also guys, if you haven't seen my other video on the car, it's literally two videos ago on my channel. It makes more sense if you watch that first, then come back here and watch this. It's a car tour, but spoilers, it's a Peugeot second hand car. I'm going to go through the pre-existing accessories in this video and also some more ones that I've bought and then in another video we'll do maybe some more that um, we're going to add to it so in the comments drop down what other accessories you want me to get um, but yeah I think that's it we'll go join with the car now Right then guys, here's the car. Obviously, like I said, watch the other video. You'll see it much better, but um, there's me. Um, yeah, pretty much, guys. Uh, the first one I want to go through is, if it will focus, I'm pretty sure this is added on, this um, spoiler. I, I think that's a spoiler. Like, I'm, I'm not the best car guy. Um, and yeah, it does add a bit bit of a nice little, little feature to it, I think. What would you say? I, I don't know. I reckon. Um, that's pretty a, a boring one, um, if I probably say so. Um, but the other one is pretty cool. Uh, th well, they are wind deflectors, and you might be able to hear me. It was like someone fully revving their engine down there. Um, but um, yeah, they are pretty nice because obviously, once you've got your window down, you're not going to have that annoying noise when it goes like flickering past here. So they're on all, all four windows. Uh, pretty nice. I guess there's actually four that I'm, I might think of more. Pretty much this next one, I didn't think of this one, um, but is a Sunstrip. So obviously it doesn't come with a car. It's a Peugeot one though. Looks pretty good in my opinion. And obviously it means you don't have to put the sun flat thing down when you're driving. You should be okay with just that. So yeah, that's that one. Um, and then the next one is pretty cool and it's in the boot. So um, yeah, I think, I think we just get in the boot now. Right then, with a bit of magic, aka the key, um, we'll open it up, slap that open, and big reveal, not so big if you watch the other video, we have got a massive subwoofer now, I don't know enough about sound to uh, be talking about it like I'm a professional, but uh, pretty much you've got a Pioneer, I think that's the sub, and that's the channel amp or something, it's from JBL, um, which you can see there, it's, a, it's JBL Decade, which I know is an old one, uh, both, I think both of all are old. It's a 2010 car anyway, second hand. And this was actually obviously in the car before I bought it. But um, yeah, you can literally see like wires down there, coming out the side there. Those are just oil and stuff and you, obviously nothing special there. But in terms of accessories, that's a pretty big one. I thought I'd include it because um, some guys might know a bit more about sound. But it is a pretty cool one. Uh, in my opinion. So uh, yeah, that I think in the pre-existing... Well, there is actually one inside. Uh, that I'll show you in a sec, but um, yeah, I thought they were pretty cool. I think it's time to get into uh, the ones we bought now. A bit more interesting. Let's go. All right then. Um, quite possibly the ropiest. We're in, by the way. Um, ropiest stand. I've got. I've got like a little tripod trying to hold stand itself up in there. Um, but. Um, I think we're going to get straight into it. Behind me on the back seat are the car accessories. I have remembered another one that's pre-existing. What I'm going to do actually is get my phone torch so you can see it a bit better because it is going towards night time. So I'll take you off there. Um, yeah, um, that is going to be the, if I just switch that around there, in the interior here, we've got a, I'm shining my light on it, maybe I'll take it off a bit. A Sony sound system, so pretty much, well it's not a sound system, it's a stereo ra radio, I don't really know the the actual name, probably let me know, but um, pretty much lets me use Bluetooth aux and there's a USB in here, so yeah you can see that there, um, really dodgy video in, um, I need to get used to it pretty much, but um, yeah I think it's pretty cool and it works and that's all that cares, uh, all I care about really, so as long as it works. That's all that matters pretty much, but um, and apart from that magnet there, which is his phone holder when I bought it off him, 
Um, apart from that, I think that's all the pre-existing ones. So um, yeah, I think we can crack on with the new ones. Let's do it. All right then, first up is actually something on the steering wheel, which I mentioned in the first video. Um, I'll put a photo up of the before and after, but pretty much it's already on here because I put it up, up when I got it uh, without thinking I was doing this video. It is a steering wheel cover, so if I just show you here, um, we have changed it to it's more like a, a leathery feel because the the feel I had before was uh, or the wheel, sorry, um, it was a bit it's a bit worn and stuff. So I think this looks nicer, just uh, gives it that bit more of a nicer feel, I guess. So um, it's a little one, but it, it goes on and it does make it feel a lot nicer for the steering wheel. So I think that's a pretty good one, good first one to have, I guess, um, in the video. But apart from that, I think we'll get onto the ones that are in packages. I literally haven't even touched yet. So yeah, let's do it. Now I just thought one of them is obviously, it's, it's my first car and I don't get to drive it yet because I haven't passed. Um, but um, yeah, it is fresh new car sense. So I'm not gonna put them in only because it's a uh, 90 day, lasts up to 90 days. And it's a bit annoying if I put it in now and I'm just wasting it because it's sat on my drive. So I'm gonna leave in the one he's got. You can just about see that there. Cherry Cola one, um, which is faded. Uh, I'm guessing it's faded because that, that blue there is not Cherry Cola. But um, we've got some two new ones here that last up to 90 days each. So when I start driving, I'll slap one of them and they literally go plug straight into the aircon. Not plug, but like clip. Clips are better with. Um, so that is number one. Uh, bit sad that I can't actually install it not install but like put it in you know but um yeah I guess I guess you gotta do what you gotta do but next one oh reach back here is gonna be a very very useful one um it is gonna be a charger port sort of thing for uh the smoking what's it called I don't know what that, that thing called everyone knows it everyone probably has it but pretty much guys I'll show you turn you around down here it's a bit dark I'm gonna go for the for this again um, there you go so down here we have got the only problem is now I can't actually I'm holding two hands here so there we go we've got this and it does need a clean um, I do admit uh, there's change in here and stuff it does need a clean but in here is the is the dingo dollar because that is where that's gonna fit in and you're able to pretty much get two charges out of that so USBs for anything um, charging your phone, your, I don't know, whatever you want to charge really, your laptop, iPad. Um, I don't know if it'd be good for your laptop because they'd probably drain it a bit. But um, yeah, that is going to go in there. So let's start Let's start getting it in pretty much. Uh, yeah. Okay then, so I've set up my, this is so dodgy, pretty much I've got my, my phone um, like rested on the indicator and the wheel and then my camera gripped around the wheel. But um, I'm going to open this up. I can't actually get into it. I don't know. This is like, you know, usually there'd be like something on the back where you can just grip onto and pull, so, pull it out, but it's looking like, luckily the thing inside isn't that delicate, so we can just rip away, I think. Um, and I don't really need instructions, it's pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? So um doesn't matter if I rip into it. There's the bit of plastic that I was on about. It's usually showing at the back. There it is, anyway, we're in, and it's nice and little, you don't want it too big, too clunky. Um, it looks actually quite good to be fair. And um, what we're gonna do is take off this outer bit of plastic if we can, get the nail in there, there we go, and it just comes straight off. That is quite satisfying. Um, didn't come off in one though, bit annoying, but there it is, and it's actually got a nice weight to it, you, it's not like cheap, cheap stuff um but uh yeah it's looking very very good and it's got everything two usbs and obviously that goes pretty nicely into there and we give it a good old push uh if i no actually it's got pins on the side and i think that's in there so that there if i give you a little move down a bit there you go that is in and that is done that is the first accessory installed done doesn't close now with that but it's okay because not really gonna want it to close if i'm using it am i so um yeah happy of that and that's that's that installed all right then part number two we'll grab it um actually no it's, it's number three isn't it that that was number two uh one sorry what we just did was number two 
And then this here, plasticky, you can hear it, is two USB cables. Now, these are not official Apple ones, but they do, in my opinion, look a bit nicer. Now, I don't know if I'm going to need to go grab scissors here because, no, I'm not, okay, perfect. So I'm literally going to rip that off. And we've got two, so I'll leave one in the packet for now because obviously no, not much I can do with two right now, but eventually I'll be able to use it. Um, it's got a lovely little, I don't know, elastic band type thing. It's black, so it's not really your traditional elastic band, but it is a nice braided cable, uh, which is perfect because it's gonna it's gonna last getting knocked about in a car and uh, you know like dragged around and stuff. Um, and yeah, both ends are black. As you can see there, USB, which will go perfectly into our, uh, you know, what we just installed, our charger port thing. And then obviously the other end into my phone. And uh, that is pretty good. And it is a nice long one. So it's literally, well, you can see there just about all of it. And um, yeah, that will reach perfectly to anyone in the back. And obviously me in the front uh, or the passenger in the front. That is Oh, cheers. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. That is the most awkward thing I've ever seen. Um, that could not get any more awkward. I thought, well, I might even put this in the video. That was so awkward, I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, I'm literally filming. It looks so stupid. I haven't got a mirror to show you guys. Um, that is my phone. Give me a bit of light. But you might be able to see. That's what we're looking like right now. You're, you're literally on the... Can you see that in, in there? Uh, you're literally on the thing and that guy has just fully walked in. Let's go give a parcel into my house. Couldn't get any more awkward. But pretty much we're going to chuck this in now. And um, yeah. Uh, well, I'll show you me doing it. Not that you're going to... You don't really care, do you? But you're going to see anyway. It's, it's my channel. We do, all, we do what we do. Oh, nope. Get the get the the trusty light on. That's not even. Oh god, round a mirror. Pretty much. Go down here, and simple as. If you can get it the right way. Say as simple as I had it the right way. No, I didn't. That's the right way. There, bang. Took more than I wanted, but that is number two. And yeah, we got the cable there, sorted. All right then, oh, reaching back here. We've got the final accessory of the video. So I don't know how many it's been. Uh, I think it's the fourth one that I've bought and then the rest of them came in. Um, it is, I've just opened it without showing you. It is, you probably guessed it based off what we've already got, cart phone holder. So pretty nice indeed, does the job. It says car holder. Um, it doesn't hold your car, it holds your phone, so I don't know why they've called it a car holder. Um, anyway, opening it up, um, have opened this up before, but literally didn't do anything with it. So, um, yeah, it's a phone holder there, and your little, your little mount there. Well, the mount's in the box, it clips onto the mount, sorry, uh, which is this, which actually goes onto your uh, AC unit, which we'll do now. Um, instructions in there as well no one really you don't really need instructions for this but we'll try and install this now so I reckon we try this now let's do it right then guys got you set up here um, pretty much gonna try and work this out for myself um, I should be able to work it out uh, it looks like this is just gonna clip into the back here um, so I know take this off um, little try and get the light in it little screw thing there comes straight off and then that it does good so that's that's that um screws on there i don't think there's any more to it to that uh, than that sorry um obviously that is going to be the top there because that's going to rest rest your phone on those bottom bits uh the cool thing about this one is once you once you want to you put your phone in so you squeeze those and it makes it very wide so you can put your phone in um literally like let me turn the, the torch, I'm actually using it for the torch. You, you put your phone in, and then there's a little thing on the back, which is hidden now. Squeeze it, and it tightens the clips, so it's literally like, it's not going to come out there. 
never going to come out of that. So yeah, it's pretty cool if you ask me. So you can just squeeze them again to pull it out, or you can just pull it out. But um, that that thing there uh, here is where it it squeezes it. So yeah, very nice indeed. So let's try and get it on the AC unit temp number one. Um, I'm guessing it just clips in somehow. I don't really know. Two hours later. Right then, guys, I definitely didn't have to pull out the instruction manual, but pretty much it is a bit more mechanical than I thought. I thought it was just a snap on on there and then chuck it in, but. What, what it is, is this little part here can extend and grip onto the back of those. So um, what I needed to do was actually turn this and that shortens or, or lengthens that. So I'm going to pretty much pull it out a bit more. That's gone further out there. And then you can actually choose where you want it. So I'll, I'll go for here for now. And then you tighten it back up. Um, I think that's tightened. I'd, yeah, that's, that's tightened in there. So... Now that isn't going anywhere. Um, I could do it more tighter or less tighter. And then once that's on, then you've got your your back of that there. Just um, snap that into place on there. And now once you put your phone in, uh, obviously that there's my phone. Once I put that in, so we'll we'll squish those together and put that in there. Then that. Is there so it's on and it isn't going anywhere um, thankfully I did have to read the instructions and actually work it out but um, yeah that is on there and I can I can follow maps or whatever um, well yeah that's pretty much follow maps and um, uh, change the music and that but um, although I could do that on there so yeah whatever that is pretty much it for the for this accessory yeah right then guys so that is gonna be it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did smash a like if there's any other accessories you want me to get, um, literally could be anything, um, then, well I guess there's something I didn't show, these ones, uh, in this video, I guess that's an accessory, it doesn't really come with the car, um, but um, yeah, anything else you want, put it in the comments below, like I said, if you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up, sorry about the lighting and everything, um, but I'm um, just getting used to it, sort of, and I'm just deciding whether to put the, the, the phone holder there on that sorry or uh, there because that actually looks quite good there and might be more I don't know I don't know it doesn't really matter but um yeah I'm gonna decide that and um, yeah it's gonna be it so yeah if you're new check a like subscribe and peace